Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise sandwiches. This is a technique we've been using for years in uh, noise transmission issues. It, we call it our sandwich. And it's a process where we measure the noise that we're fighting, design a sandwich that goes between the studs and a wall to deal with the noise uh, that we've measured. So everything works together. Remember, it's a system. Our goal is to reduce the amplitude or the strength of the vibration. So we have a vibration that hits our wall that looks like this. By the time it comes out the other side, we want it to look like that. So we want to reduce the strength, snake versus worm. So the noise is the big snake and when it comes out on the other side of our barrier, which it will, it should not ever stop everything, we want it to be reduced, okay? Let's think about a truck exit ramp on, on the mountains. So if you're driving in the mountains, you'll see exit ramps for trucks that lose their brakes. What happens? Well, they leave the freeway, go on the ramp, and then they go up this ramp. And there'll be some buckets of water or sand, piles of sand up here to, to stop the truck. But what are we doing? We're using gravity to slow the truck down. We're using gravity to reduce the energy of the vibration so we get a smaller version of it. Same principle with gravity and bleeding the forward momentum off of a truck, okay? We know that a barrier is between the noise and the receiver, so that's our wall that we're going to build. Every material, let me repeat this, please, every material you use inside your barrier is dependent on the frequency and the strength, how big it is and where it's at in terms of frequency range. People don't understand that. And stop this green glue double wall nonsense. It's 50 years old, doesn't work below 125, and it takes up too much space above 125. So forget about it, it's no good. Construction methodology not only are the materials frequency and amplitude dependent, but the construction methodology, how you arrange those materials, is very, very critical. You have to put a certain density towards the noise, and you have to work backwards from that point, okay? We put the sandwiches between the studs, we seal everything in our boat. We're building a boat that we're gonna place in the water. So it has to be sealed. Noise is like water. It'll find the weakest link and go through it. So we wanna make sure we seal everything. So the sandwiches go between the studs. You can see some examples here that we have. Okay, you can see the layering of the materials. You can see mass loaded vinyl in some of the examples. You can see different densities. You can see the arrangement of those materials. That's all based on certain noise measurements. A whole other set of noise measurements, completely different barrier. That's what people don't get. They think one size fits all. It doesn't. And that's why everybody's so disappointed. Okay? Everybody's looking for that one size fits all. One size fits all in room treatment. One size fits all in this, that, or the other. There's no such thing not in a critical listening environment because there's just too many variables. There's too many physics, too much physics going on. There's vibrational acoustics, there's airborne energy, there's a lot going on in a room. Pressure, reflections, okay? The arrangement of the materials. As a general rule, the most dense material is facing the noise source. That's a good start. Then we work backwards from that. But our goal, remember, is to take that big noise snake, if you will, and convert it to a little earthworm. It's much easier to manage. Noise sandwiches, a process we've been using for years, very successful. If you have a noise issue, we can definitely help you with it, but we gotta have noise numbers. We gotta have measurements, because you can see in the graphics that we showed you, there's different materials, they're arranged differently. Those are all for different noise situations. It's like going to a tailor and getting a custom suit. It fits you perfectly. Well, that's what barrier technology has to do, because if it doesn't and it starts leaking, you've defeated the whole purpose, okay? Noise sandwiches is a process we use for barrier technology. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.